the median the yellow line will go with the yellow line i will trim it from here like this i will trim it and the the outer edge uh, and the center line it will remain here to here because if you if, uh, want to connect this one uh, just take offset uh, for the inside if there is a uh, a couple ground but we will put here the, the we will put here the paint so we need uh, to this should be one from here and this line uh, will be up to the here up to the edge of asphalt this edge of asphalt will uh, cut we will cut it from here If I trim it from here, this side, it, this there will be no like our up to here. It's it's better because this will be median, and this uh, the yellow line will extend to yellow line here, like this, and this yellow line uh, I will create a break here. A break line from this point to this point. So we will select the other one. I will create a break line from this only a, a will region this one. So it's uh, easy. I, I will region this one. It's easy to create a break here. Here uh, exactly. This part uh, like a small break here up to here from this point to uh, this part. Okay, now this line will be dash uh, same like the the white one, but the the color for this will be. yellow because this is the yellow line so uh, this color will be yellow so it's mean uh, there are two kind of yellow line one uh, the solid yellow line the other one dash uh, the dash uh, we put the dash uh, yellow line whenever we want to cross the vehicle at the, in, in which place we want that the vehicle cross the line so we put the yellow line we are we don't want to cross the grass so we put the solid yellow so it's mean we will put here the yellow uh, line but it will be dash line same like the other side and this will be and uh, this area will be the median because this is the edge of asphalt uh, here so we can remove up to here this will be uh, like the median as well but later on in the right side we will create the right side uh, the left side of the uh, sorry the right side the left side now we finish I will just put the radius for each radius. This one. If I select the this, uh, the this must be yellow because this will be clear. This line should be continuous. I will select the continuous line. Okay. The other thing, the arrow must be like this one or the pill. The pill uh, arrow is better. Uh, this one the size uh, you can increase or decrease this one like so now uh, the the one uh, arc uh, radius uh, the radius of this arc is uh, 50 the inner side or i can take offset from the similar side like this one okay Ne the next thing uh, the this side i will also create the same i will create a circle with the ttr 10 10 the radius select this line and this line and i will put the radius 50.17 the same like the other one and now as you can see it's connecting the both so i will trim from the both side from this side now only remaining this uh, the blue line the blue line so it's uh, connecting the front if the vehicle will come from this side and he want to go to exit 
to, to the road, uh, he will go like this one. Now the same uh, upset, how um, much this one? If you don't know, just take the front and just take the offset. Make the properties for the yellow line, this line. Okay, now the vehicle will go like this and front. We don't need this yellow line. So I will turn this one. Now, as you can see, it's uh, clear from this side. Again, uh, this uh, offset, or I will check the radius for this one. Oh, how this was regular, the 50. So this radius was 50, so I will again create a circle who's connecting this yellow line with the, uh, this, real, this line. The 50, the radius is 50. So I will match the property with the yellow. So it will be clearly visible. The color I'm using for printing, because uh, when you're using the blue color, it's very clear while you are printing. So this my by default uh, color which I am using mostly so. So I will trim this line from this area. We don't need uh, here. Up to here, as you can see, the okay, vehicle will go to the road. If he will uh, take a U-turn inside the road, he will use this lane. But if he will go outside, he will go like this one. Now, the same process I will repeat. I will trim up to the yellow line same like here then the other one also is connected here this line I will trip and this will be remain this will be remain the median for the both the side this uh, edge of asphalt uh, I think we don't need this here already if I did not uh, trim this line I will select the line and I will trim it's from here This line should be removed from here. Okay, if, if it is not connected, it's mean it should be connected. Uh, or I will uh, select this all and it should be not the line type should be continuous. Uh, okay. The blue line uh, should be continuous, the other uh, no problem for this one. I will match this again. Uh, the same process I will uh, uh, repeat here. Okay. Now uh, this line, if it is connecting, maybe sometime it is not connected. That's why it's deviating. You can draw a line here, and you can uh, uh, trim it from the place uh, here. We don't want from here. Okay, now it's uh, clear. So now, uh, as you can see, it's now clear from both the side. The the exact and entrance to the roundabout on the both the side is now uh, very clear, visible. This uh, line should be again. I will uh, create break here in two places one uh, in this place the other side here and i can turn the little part uh, this one so. okay now i will match this line with the other one In this line, we we can finish this one. Uh, this line, uh, if you like, uh, you can take offset uh, for this. Suppose uh, you will check how much this line. So uh, you can take uh, this one as uh, if you want to use this line. Then you can match uh, the properties. Uh, this line, okay. So uh, the line will turn from this area. So the yellow line will turn from this area. Now the center line we need it from this part uh, to 
if if you have uh, 